Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a uh, November favorites and it's late at night so I apologize if I'm looking a little ragged and uh, I'm feeling a little tired but I had to keep grinding and keep doing this uh, otherwise I will basically go a year and a half without making another video. So um, today we're just going to kind of go through uh, like I said, my favorites for the month of November, and oh, we got a little surprise guest here. Say hi, Bee. Say hi, Bee. This is Bill. Why don't we start with um, clothing and accessory items first? The first thing I want to talk about is this puffer jacket from Old Navy. It's just a regular length puffer jacket with elastic wrists and it has two pockets on each side one of these front closing pockets and then one you can shove your hands into it's a packable puffer jacket so the cool thing about this is it actually folds into itself so I'll go ahead and there's a pocket on the inside here um, so I'll go ahead and fold it the only negative it doesn't come with instructions on how to fold it <laughs> so we're just gonna wing it here so this is it packed up and there's your jacket. I like to have this in the morning and then pack it up and shove it in my backpack when I'm leaving work and it's too hot out and uh, basically just saves some space rather than having to lug a coat around. I also have it in like a cream color. I went down a size because it was I believe advertised like boxy or drop shoulder and I wanted it to kind of fit like a normal jacket. The next item I have is these little fanny packs or belt bags or whatever you want to call them. This is from Amazon and it's kind of like one of those Lululemon uh, bag dupes. So I got this for I think it was maybe 17 or 18 dollars. I have it in this tan color, an orange color, a light gray, and a black uh, because once I find something I have to get in every color. So my favorite thing about this is it has the adjustable strap. It has an inside pocket with little dividers on each side, mesh dividers, and a back pocket where I usually put my wallet. So just anything and everything fits in this little fanny pack. So that's why this is also one of my favorites. Let's go ahead and continue with the shoes. So my first pair are, I would call them like my first I'm getting old shoe. Um, it's these little sketcher boots. And yes, I said sketchers. <laughs> so these are like those hiking style boots and I wasn't sure if I was gonna actually like this style. So I was just looking for like a natural colored boot and I thought this one was really cute. They fit great, they're comfortable. Um, I love that they're also, they're casual, but you know, they're functional. So they have like this kind of sole. Um, so yeah, my next favorite is another boot. It's the little uh, bear paw, Ugg uh, knockoff boot. I think they're called the Chukka boots. So, and I could be wrong, but that's what I'm gonna call it. <laughs> so basically these come fully lined with like the little furry bits in here. And with this little lace tie up. Um, and I pretty much just like these for casual days when I'm wearing leggings um, or just going grocery shopping as it's getting cool, uh, cooler just to keep my feet nice and toasty. Um, so that's another favorite and the I know the mini Uggs are on trend right now, sorry on trend right now, um, but I had these since last year and I feel like they're pretty comparable as far as looks so I'm just going to keep these instead of investing in another pair but if you are looking for some of those options I've seen some on Amazon and since they are kind of you know a trend right now I would suggest not you know spending the full 150 I think 150 dollars for the UGG version and just get yourself some Amazon ones. My next two items they're from the same brand and it's gonna take me back to I think it was maybe high school days when these first came out and they were like or maybe it was college I can't remember when but they were like super popular everyone had you know one in every color and I think at the time there was only like three colors <laughs> but they are Tom's so I have been on the hunt for just some casual you know 
kind of cleaner looking flat sneaker-esque shoe and this is what I came across and I love these. Oh, come on. So my camera died and it's now an hour later and I'm tired. <laughs> my last pair of shoes might be a little controversial but they are pretty popular right now. So they're the Birkenstock Boston Clog. Now, I got these from Famous Footwear as well. I have them in a size 39, uh, which I think is maybe an eight. I think it's an eight in uh, European sizing. So, and they fit me perfect, even with thick socks. I wasn't sure because I read some reviews and everyone's like, you know, go a size up if you have thicker socks. But um, these are similar to if you have any Birkenstock like sandals, they kind of stretch out and kind of mold to your your foot and yes they look a little ridiculous I will say when you're looking at them you know looking down at them I should say they look kind of hilarious because it's almost like duck feet but they are so comfy and I honestly don't care <laughs> let's get into one household item that I have it is this oops it's kind of dusty um, blade like sprayer basically what you do is you just put this little canister inside and these sell for like I think maybe nine dollars nine to twelve dollars at Target and they come in like two packs and um, it's battery operated you can select between the times different times there how often you want it to spray and basically it just sprays based off of how many minutes you have selected. So it could be 9, 18, or 36 minutes, every 9, 18, or 36 minutes. So I have these around the house, and it's just nice because, you know, it keeps your house smelling nice and clean. Don't have to worry about burning candles, especially with all the cats that we have. Some hair accessory favorites I have, claw clips. And the reason being is because of the holidays, the long weekends. You know, I'm not feeling like washing my hair or doing my hair to begin with so um, my go-to hairstyles right now are this is this little like half up pony or throwing my hair in a cloth lip uh, currently if you haven't already noticed I don't have my nails painted but my November favorite nail polish is this Zoya polish in I think I don't know how to say this Neve ZP679 so it's this like dark blue, and this is the name. I like darker shades in the fall slash winter, and this one's just kind of unique to look at. Um, underneath that though, I'll put the smoothing base from Holo Taco, and I basically do this because I have like ridges on my fingernails so I like to use this smoothing base just to kind of give it a nice you know smooth layer or base obviously <laughs> um, to put the nail polish over and I'll top that off with the uh, super glossy taco from hollow taco super glossy top coat from hollow taco this is an all-time favorite I will never buy another uh, top coat from any brand at all, but uh, this one is so thick and your nail polish will last, I'm, I'm not even joking, like two weeks, which just regular polish, not gel um, or any kind of long lasting. Like this one is just regular nail lacquer is what they call it. And it, if I use any other top coat, this thing will chip within a day. If I use this top coat, I'm not looking at any chips or even, you know, the fading at the tip of your nail for a good 10 days. So um, I highly suggest this one. And again, like I said, I have like two or three of these on backup because I love this top coat. For hair products this week, I mean this month, I have this Amika Reset Pink Charcoal Scalp Cleansing Oil. And what I do with this, it's a pre-cleanse. So before you get in the shower, you just kind of use this little nozzle and I just kind of, you know, use it to section my hair and put a few 
uh, squirts in, but basically after you put that in, I then massage it, and again this is all on dry hair, or dry scalp. I massage it in, it kind of gets into like a little mild lather, and um, I'll then go into the shower, wash it off, and uh, finish my hair routine. Um, I love this because it has kind of a soothing sensation on my scalp. So, you know, anytime your scalp is a little itchy or just irritated, um, this is definitely a great pre-cleanse to use. I will forewarn you though, try to make sure that you keep your head back as you're rinsing it out, just because since it does have that kind of uh, soothing, like min almost mint sensation, um, it, I have had it where it ran into my eye and definitely made it kind of sting a little bit so just be aware of that if you are going to use this. Now we're going to get into body. So my favorite lotion of the month has been the CeraVe um, Salicylic Acid Lotion for Rough and Bumpy Skin and the reason why I love this lotion is because I have the, um, I can't remember the name of it, but it's like the little strawberry bumps on the back of my arms. Keratosis pilaris. So basically what it is, it's kind of like little bumps that um, produce on, on your arm. And I use the mitt, I use an exfoliating scrub, and then I use this lotion and this is what I think is the key to kind of keeping it at bay and the reason being is because of that salicylic acid it's kind of like a mild exfoliant um, that stays on your skin after you've done all of your physical exfoliants so uh, I definitely it's also moisturizing too which is great so yeah if you have any type of um, rough patches or uh, bumpy skin um, this is definitely one of my highly suggested lotions to use. These next two items, they're going to be a little personal, maybe TMI. <laughs> but the first one is the Ordinary's Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. And I love this. I love this for a couple different reasons. Um, I don't use it on my face, I use it on my body. So um, I started laser hair removal and I didn't really you know, shave before starting laser hair. I did a lot of waxing and the reason why I preferred waxing over shaving is because um, I didn't get as many ingrown hairs. So with shaving, I think it's just because I could use all types of, you know, lotions or um, oils, shaving oils, and it did not help my sensitivity that I would get from the shaver. So I love this as an after treatment. So basically what I do after I shave my armpits or, you know, I wouldn't put this all the way down there, but on the bikini line at least. Um, what I do is I take this on a little cotton pad or even toilet paper. I just kind of bunch it up a little bit and squirt a little bit on there and kind of, you know, wipe the areas down just to add some type of toning solution to it that also adds, has a little bit of uh, chemical exfoliant with the glycolic acid and that helps keep uh, ingrown hairs at bay. Um, it's also great if you have any type of discoloration under your armpits. Using this and I mean just a couple times a week has definitely made a difference. The next item, now we're really getting personal and I'm not going to show you that actual item just because I have used it, but it is the Cora the Easy Does It Cup. So this is basically like, I don't know if you've heard of the Diva Cup, um, but it's this item right here. Okay, it's that right there. So that goes up your hoo-ha and uh, you use it while you're on your period. Um, I wanted to try it because one, I wanted to just try to be a little bit more sustainable, you know, tampons and pads um, are not the greatest items and they're also just kind of suck because you have to change them throughout the day. Um, this you only have to change, well depending on uh, your flow you only have to change it once every 12 hours and so I wake up at you know 6 in the morning 
insert it at 615. Don't have to do anything to it. Don't even feel it when it, while it's inserted until 6.15 in the afternoon, so when I'm already home. Um, it did take a little bit of practice to get used to this, and I plan on having a blog. I've kind of documented the first my first period with it, um, and then also my second period as well. And so it definitely takes some getting used to because uh, you are all up in yourself trying to insert and remove this item. But it is pretty life changing in my opinion. You know, this was I believe like $25 from Target, $25 to $30 from Target. And I mean, I don't have to buy tampons again. I think these last for 10 years. So I don't have to buy tampons for another 10 years. Um, they do have two sizes. I will, let me uh, go back to that. They have two sizes. One is, um, well, they have size one, which is a small, and that's for those who have not given birth or have a light, or do not have light bladder leaks. Don't know why that makes a difference. Um, and then the size two, or medium, um, you're supposed to use that after you've given birth or you have light bladder leaks. So it must be something to do with your um, pelvic floor muscles. But yeah, this is definitely a favorite of mine. All right, the last items I'm gonna talk about, the last items I'm going to talk about are uh, makeup or beauty products. So um, the first thing I'm gonna talk about is the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder. Um, so this, I bought this because I saw so many reviews on it and they were mixed reviews. Positive were more towards people with combo oily skin, negative were people with dry skin. And the reason why I think there were negative, negative reviews for the dry skin is because this thing keeps oil at bay all day. And it's literally just a bomb. So I just take a brush and kind of pat it in and brush it on my face, just a light layer. Uh, you could use this alone, you could use it as a primer since it does have that kind of oil control um, a bit, or technology or whatever you want to call it built into it. Uh, but I just love it for everyday use. And again, I, I would be careful though because I did have a day where my skin around my mouth was a little bit dry and it definitely clung on to some of those dry patches. So if you are interested in trying this and you have some dry patches, just make sure you uh, moisturize those areas well before you actually use this product and you should be fine. The next item I'm gonna talk about, it's two, but they're the same item. They're the, well it used to be the Becca, but now it's Smashbox. Um, under eye brightening corrector, so or Becca by Smashbox, whatever you want to call it. But these are the under eye correctors, and this is in fair light and medium. So they're kind of a peach based corrector, pinky slash peach based corrector. And the reason why I have both colors is because I feel like I'm just in between fair light and medium. My favorite way to apply this is either using it with your finger and just kind of uh, stamping it on or with a brush and it could be any type of concealer brush. Um, it's pretty thick and it's pretty emollient and uh, pretty shiny. So be mindful of that. Don't apply a lot otherwise you will get a lot of creasing underneath your eye. But my second favorite way to apply this is with this little brush and unfortunately I got this from the Naked Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. So it's one of these dual ended brushes. Um, one side has this kind of pointy thinner end and this other side is a fluffy brush. So what I like to do, I grab a little bit of the concealer and I just line the outside edge of my eye and they call that like reverse liner or something along those lines if I've seen it online. And it's basically just creating like a lifted eye look without having to actually put eyeliner on. And so I just kind of follow the, my bottom lash line up towards my the end of my eyebrow and then blend it in with the fluffy side. I like to set that concealer with the Pat McGrath Labs 
oop, I can't even see what it's called. Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Brightening Under Eye Powder. This is the, transluc the translucent color, um, or I think they call it light, but it's really just translucent. And I have medium. I love medium during the summertime when I have a little bit of a tan. It looks perfectly fine, but as it's getting cooler and I'm losing my tan on my face, light is just easier to use. Um, and I basically just get a little powder puff and just blot it right under my eyes um, just to set the concealer. For blush and bronzer, um, I'll go ahead and start with blush first. I have the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush in the color Hope. You really only need a little bit of this. A little bit goes a long way with this. But this is the color here. Um, it looks a lot more pink, but I do promise you it kind of fades to like a natural blush color. I would suggest if it's your first time, apply it to your, the back of your hand first. Um, dip your brush into it and then apply it to your cheeks. Don't swipe it on, otherwise you will look like a clown. The next two products, I've really been torn between. I've been going back and forth and I actually did an Instagram um, or TikTok review on them. But they are the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer and the Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick. So I have both of these in light medium. They're my current shades right now. Um, the Shaping Stick, this is what it looks like. The Transforming Skin Enhancer uh, packaging kind of sucks. It takes, it's a little hard to open, but this is that shade in light medium. The main difference between the two is one is more geared towards contouring and the other is more like a bronzer. They both could function as both to be honest. Um, but so this is the shaping stick. As you can see, it's a little bit more gray. It has like some, I don't want to say dinginess, but it looks a little darker, right? And here is the transforming skin enhancer. For easy, quick days, I love the skin enhancer because you you literally can't make a mistake with that product. Um, it's great for beginners. Okay, and last but not least is a lip combo. It's the lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury, the lip cheat in Pillow Talk number two, medium. And over that, I'm using just the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme uh, Lip Plumper. So this one I think is like honey flavored. And here are those two shades. So this is the Pillow Talk lip liner and you can't really see the lip gloss but it's right there it's a clear lip gloss with just a little bit of shine on it um, but I love this just for like an everyday kind of pinky nude um, just add some color to you know your lips so that was my November favorites thanks so much for watching I'll have links to everything that I can find still if it's not um, if it's still in stock in my bio below and check me out on Instagram and TikTok. I'm trying to get a little following going on over there. Um, and don't, also don't forget to like and subscribe. I keep forgetting to say that, but like and subscribe if you want to see more content and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. kind of looking for a natural um, shade boot. You got it all on time. I'm loving your vibe, always have your back.